Okay, well, I got this one going. Ooh. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Richie. So the other day I was looking through Twitter and I saw that pineapples are trending and it turns out that we've all been eating pineapples wrong our entire lives. Basically, somebody had found out that you can actually peel pineapples into convenient little bite-sized pieces and that's exactly what I'm going to do. But I'm not just going to do that. I'm going to share with you my top five favorite facts about pineapples. Alright, so let's try this out. Let's see. Okay, so apparently all you really have to do is just get a, a ripe pineapple and just kind of go at it. I guess what you're supposed to do is that you're supposed to go into like these little pieces and just start to kind of like pull it out. Okay, well I got this one going. Ooh! <laughs> just splattered a little bit in my face. I might require a little bit of assistance. I might get a knife. Okay, so the first fact that I'm going to share with you is that pineapples actually don't grow on trees. They grow on plants, and they can actually only grow one pineapple at a time. Ooh, I feel like there's like some pineapple on my face. So I think that everybody pretty much thought that pineapples grew on trees like bananas and coconuts, but no, they don't. They actually look like this. And they're only about three to five feet tall. I think I'm gonna get a knife and just cut the top off first to kind of get it started because it's very much packed in there. So let's get a knife. Okay, you guys, I got a knife. Be very careful. I'm just gonna go and chop off the top of this. I don't know, I've been seeing all kinds of people do this on Twitter and Instagram. Pretty much the whole internet is blowing up right now about this. Okay. So fact number two, although many people associate them to tropical islands like Hawaii, they're actually native to South America, namely Brazil and Paraguay. They were only introduced to the Hawaiian Islands in the 1500s by the Spanish. Alright. So I guess you gotta kinda get it started. <laughs> I guess I got my first little chunk of pineapple. Mmm. Mm, oh my god, that is so good. I, it's funny, sometimes I forget how much I really like fruit. Let's try to get another piece. That one kind of squished in. You know, as cool as this may be, I'm not sure how practical it really is. Ooh, you gotta use some force. Okay, it's gone. Alright. Well, there's a pretty good chunk there. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's weird. There's like little seeds in here. Sure, I might know a little bit about food, but I don't really know the anatomy of a pineapple. <laughs> Ooh, I need some kitchen bowl. Fact number three, Costa Rica produces the most pineapples in the world by 300,000 metric tons, and they are the largest exporter of this fruit. I don't know, guys. I, I think it's, it's kind of cool, but I think this pineapple might be a bit too ripe for this. Still good, though. Fact number four, pineapples are not apples. They're actually a cluster of single fruits, which is why we can pull them apart, like this. Also, the natives call them ananas. Actually, 42 different countries still call them this, whereas only 10 refer to them as pines, as they resemble pine cones. In Spanish, they're called piñas. If you like piña coladas... Fact number five. In Victorian England, it was a symbol of status to have a pineapple plant growing in your greenhouse. And also, after the Great Fire of London in 1666, pineapples were depicted all throughout the city during its reconstruction as they symbolized peace, prosperity, and hospitality. In fact, if you visit St. Paul's Cathedral, you'll be able to see two giant golden pineapples at the top of the two steeples as they represent peace, prosperity, and hospitality, and they were placed here by Sir Christopher Wren. So I can definitely see how this works, but to be honest, it's proven to be a bit more messy for me. I'm not having the best of luck with this, but I mean, have you tried this yet? Have you seen it? <laughs> I think it's pretty cool, like if you can get it right, because basically all you have to do is just, um, is just get a pineapple and just have at it. <laughs> oh well. I, I really wanted this to work for me because I wanted it to be cool, I wanted it to be like, oh yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna change everything. Well, I mean, it might work in the future, but I probably got a wrong pineapple, but oh well. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed those facts. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy what I do, please hit the subscribe button for more history and more food. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. 
Mmm. Mmm. Oh, but it's so citrusy. Like, I can feel little cuts that I didn't realize I had. <laughs> Bum 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 bum